We give greetings from far away now, in our first two sets of communications to you. We are able to be in the proximity of your world in a hidden location in your solar system we have been but now forced to flee, since our revelations have become public. The intervention that is occurring in your world by those extraterrestrial races who would seek to take advantage of a weak and divided humanity have searched for us, seeking to find us and to destroy us so that we may report not on their activities in the world and Malthus reveal their hidden plans and motivations. The people of your world must know that you are now emerging into a greater community of intelligent life, a greater community that you know nothing about and have not yet adapted to it is a greater community of advanced worlds for you live in a developed and populated part of the universe where large nations have established intricate and long-standing trade agreements with one another where there are rules of engagement and rules of conduct that all trading nations in this region must observe dot you know nothing of these things of course still being isolated within your world Yet your world is being visited by small groups, small non-military groups, commercial forces. You might say that are here seeking advantages and resources. They recognize that humanity at this moment is a weak and divided race and is superstitious and uneducated regarding the affairs of the greater community hash in which you have always lived. We have been sent as observers from several different free nations in this region of space to observe the extraterrestrial intervention that is occurring in the world today, to report on its activities and to reveal its hidden motives and agenda so that the human family might become aware and prepared for the reality of contact. It is this reality that is essential of contact for your understanding. Your world is a prize. It is greatly valued by others. You are unsuspecting and perhaps might assume that advanced technological races are spiritually advanced as well. But alas, this is not the case. The path of technological development more often than not leads away from real freedom and the true nature of spirituality as it exists in all manifest intelligent life. This represents but one of the important lessons that the human family must now learn if it is to regard the presence of foreign visitors with clarity, wisdom and discernment and if it is to recognize the great need for humanity to establish its own rules of engagement regarding all present and future visitations to your world. Such rules have been established not. Humanity stands naked in the universe, vulnerable to intervention by small and persuasion, cunning groups of resource explorers and economic collectives those who travel within the local universe seeking advantages and opportunities for themselves and for their clients. You of course have no way of understanding this, having never ventured far enough into space to witness these activities and to learn about the nature of interactions and commerce in this part of the universe. Son you do not know what to expect, and in the absence of wisdom, clarity and informed awareness, Many people who are aware of the intervention are misunderstanding its presence and are construing it incorrectly, believing it is here for the benefit of humanity. It is because humanity has not responded appropriately to this intervention with wisdom that we, as representatives of the free nations of space in your vicinity, have been sent here to observe this intervention, to learn of its activities within your world and to reveal to you the nature of these activities activities, their purpose and indeed the nature of such intervention as they so frequently occur everywhere in the greater community. You are emerging into a competitive environment in space, a complex environment, an environment where long-standing rules have been established to maintain stability amongst nations and worlds whose establishments are far older than anything that has been established on Earth. In this regard, you are but a young race. 
young and reckless a young race who is beginning to experience the benefits and the liabilities of technological power a young race who is despoiling a beautiful planet a planet that is valued by others a young race without wisdom and foresight who is eroding away its self-sufficiency self-sufficiency which is always required for any emerging nation to maintain its freedom and its self-determination in the universe dot there is so much now for humanity to learn and to do great actions must be taken but they must be informed by a clear understanding of the universe into which you are emerging now nations trade and function what restrains them what encourages them the freedoms they have to intervene in a world such as yours and the restraints that prevent them from undertaking certain activities even now though we are far from your world. We can report on these things and give you a clearer understanding of the nature of interaction. Trade and commerce in your part of the galaxy, in this densely populated area of the universe. With this, we hope we can impart a great encouragement for the human family to utilize its native wisdom to build upon its great strengths and to not fall prey to persuasion or self-deception that is always a great risk at thresholds such as these. Emerging into the greater community is the greatest threshold that any race can face. Many races fail at this threshold, falling under the persuasion and domination of foreign powers. Many nations fail because they have destroyed their self-sustaining resources and have become helpless and dependent upon others who, through leverage and through commercial manipulation, were able to gain control of these young, emerging races. It is a threshold with great risks and yet one with immense opportunities. In the face of the greater community, young races must unite they must correct their destructive behavior and they must focus on establishing the security of their world and its boundaries to space we trust in this third set of briefings that we may be able to illustrate the importance of this and provide our encouragement and our faith that humanity has the strength still and the integrity still to mount a great effort on its own behalf and to lay the foundation for becoming a free and self-determined race in the universe. For you must know that freedom is rare in the greater community and once it has been established, it must be carefully protected and watched over. Large nations that are not free, that do not provide freedom for their citizens, always regard the presence of free worlds and nations with great fear and suspicion. That is why free nations, with very few exceptions, maintain their autonomy and attempt not to become pulled into the complex and compromising nature of trade and commerce in the greater community. Perhaps you can understand this from your own experience of being in the world. A world where commerce has compromised the integrity and the self-determination of weaker nations. We have seen the evidence of this in your transmissions, which are foolishly sent out into space for all to see. We bring this example forward so that you may call upon your own experience and observations of the world because events in the greater community and the reality of the greater community itself represent the same kinds of forces, compromises and difficulties, but on a vastly larger scale with many more participants. Here you cannot be like children, being reckless, wasting your resources, opposing one another, being inattentive to your boundaries to space, unaware of who is intervening in your world today and foolishly expecting grace and salvation from those who might visit.